That was hit record then. <laughs> <laughs> there, was a, there was a small burp. That's yes. the best way to start any stream that I'm on. Welcome, in. everyone, to movie number, and then fill in number here, because I don't even know what it is anymore. What was the last yeah, one we did? Was, was it Season of the Witch? That was one of the ones. Who, who even knows? They'll all come out in about 10 years. You know? <laughs> Anyway, you know what? We can't waste time because this Wait, is a long one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Next in our rotation, we, we've got a couple of ideas of what movies we're going to watch. The Last Samurai was in there as a suggestion, and now it's here. Um, I'm assuming everyone here has seen this movie at least at some point. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and I will try and withhold my uh, anti-Katana bigotry for, for this film, but <laughs> mm -hmm. I cannot promise anything. It's just jealousy, Shad. Admit it. Yeah. You can't embrace the, the beauty it's of not, the Katana. It's just, it's just oh, no, 10,000 no, times, the Shad. It's just they're okay. They're not. They're not the best. I'm just saying. Look, Chad, I, I once, fold. I once had a katana and I cut through a building with it. What have you got yeah. to say to that? I checkmate. See, you say you cut through. I assume you were just walking into the building. You're like, oh, whoops, and the whole building went down. She was like, oh, there, there well, it goes. I was just kind of messing around with it, swung it, and then it's like, shit, I've cut down a skyscraper there. Oh, no, yeah. it's falling. Like, so they it's, say, it's, never, just, it's easy done. Never drop a katana directly down on the floor because it'll hit the core of the earth in seconds. It's Doctor Who isn't going to be out of here there because you've probably cut space and time in half as well. So, oh, no. you know, good work. Nice, you killed Doctor Who. What the fuck? Well, then again, is it a good thing or a bad thing to kill Doctor Who right now? Uh... Well, that's <laughs> yeah. right? Can you kill maybe, that which is dead? I don't know. Maybe I like katanas a bit more now. Oh hmm. shit! Wait, we gotta we gotta hedge our bets because it's been a long time since this will come out. Maybe Doctor Who's really good now. Who knows? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Very optimistic take there, model. We'll have to record both versions just in case. Uh, so anyway, Last Samurai is a classic. Question mark. 2003. People really like this film. I remember There's that. no question marks over this one. It's a great movie. All right. Sweet, yeah, I love good. this film. Well, um, in that case, we'll probably just talk about what we like and dislike and what, as we're watching. So is everybody ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready. I am so ready. Oh, God. Three, two, one, go. Oh, my God. That was a fast one. Jeez. Yeah. A movie to make you appreciate that the white man truly can solve all Oh no! <laughs> you had to go there, didn't you, Mother? What? We are uh, right off the bat. Ten seconds in. I thought that was the theme. I didn't say that. Couldn't you rein in your white supremacy at least for five I minutes? I thought it was the theme. I, I'm trying bit. to give it analysis of the literaturean kind. I think it's a bit of the reverse because the Japanese culture saves the white man in this case. He oh, finds God, himself. Aw. No. Okay. I love how Timothy Spall's doing the narration for this. <laughs> Four perfect drops fell back into the sea, and those drops became the islands of Japan. He is, yeah. It's nice to see him turn up in stuff. He's, I don't think he's ever been able to lead a movie, has he? But he's always there as a supporting guy. It's good. And it's, it's terrifying how much he looks like Tim Roth now. All I remember is that they cast him in Harry Potter as the human vision of a rat, so... <laughs> take that That's for all what you remember you about the, the poor man's career. <laughs> <laughs> what did you take from that? He's a fucking rat. <laughs> hey, money is money, okay? <laughs> <laughs> is this him getting a vision of the future because we know what it's foreshadowing right is he like a psychic yes yes all the asian people are it. well he had a lot <laughs> of other dreams that just were completely irrelevant but this is the one he remembers and tells people <laughs> wow. It'd be funny if, like, his dream was him like fucking a bear or something <laughs> yeah the last one was like 68 hedgehogs and they were all memory to store territory <laughs> God damn, I hate being Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise clearly made a deal with something evil to look like Tom Cruise Alcohol. for this long. Get out there. This is your last performance. You're fired. Now get out there. This is like me every Come time on. I have to do a live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's this guy? Me? Like, Come on, drinker. Drinker, get out there. <laughs> you fucking asshole. I text Mr. McCabe, you are too kind. I'm trying to this grow my hair out to be like that. Jets. Pretty cool look. Don't you think it just looks awesome? Pretty good. By many's a time, I found myself <laughs> surrounded by a swarm of angry hostiles. But let me tell you, folks, the Red Man is a fearsome enemy. Why, this scalp of mine would be long gone, and there'd be a Balder <laughs> Man standing before you today. <laughs> Not wrong. Wait, you wouldn't be standing there probably, right? Yeah, should they be dead? dead. Like the yeah. scalp is not fatal, I guess. You no, but they'd probably kill him, right? <laughs> yeah, the scalp thing. Body strip bear. 
Oh no, he's going to the darker side again. Like, you gotta wake him up and be like, no, 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 uh, happy stuff. <laughs> happy <laughs> trying to sell tickets, <laughs> man. This, ladies and gentlemen, the 73 lever action. I love that so much character is established so quickly with oh, this yeah. guy already. Like, yeah. the writing is just heads and shoulders above what we get in the modern days. We're, we're like two minutes in and we already know exactly what kind of person this is. Yeah. We know what he's been through as well. Yep. And it's done in a pretty, uh, dare I say, diegetic way. This doesn't feel forced at all. The smooth cocking action. Oh, hey, we need that. It's coffee or something. <laughs> oh, man. A heavily drunk man with a gun. What could go wrong? Like, I, I don't mean to suck the film's dick too hard, but this is probably one of the best uh, usages of your first minutes I've seen in a long time, actually. Because he, he was told he's fired, right? So that's probably why he just did that. He's like, whatever, fuck you. I'm out. Reminding himself of all the horrors of his life is why he drinks. And the fact that he has to sell that. That's how he's making his living, selling that horrible past. You have a flair for the old melodrama. You're alive. I am indeed. You mind Custer says to me, we're going to the little big horn. Billy Connolly's accent is Nine quite something have, in this me. movie. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it's Billy Connolly, damn it. I mean, I mean, he's going for Irish, but uh, yeah. well. it's hard for a Scotsman to, to get around, you know? <laughs> Why didn't they just make him Scottish? Yeah, it would have been easier, wouldn't it? He can't help but be Scottish, right? That's what I'm well, saying, it's like, just make him Scottish. It's been a while, it's good to see you. Nathan Algren, I'd like you to meet Mr. Omura from Japan, and his associate, whose name I've given up trying to pronounce. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is so, that is so like, casual. I'd just be like, okay. <laughs> like, my name is Smith. I was born here. Uh, <laughs> so name's Johnson. It's just like, a, is that and Mr. Omura here is willing to spend what it takes to hire white experts to train their army. And if we play our Diversity cards right, hires. the Emperor grants the U.S. <laughs> exclusive rights to supply arms. Well, I already have two arms, thank you. Uh, everyone in Japan walking around with Manchester no arms. Company. Oh, God damn, I can't pick up so anything. Mr. Omura here has some concept of what an agreement is. Mr. Omura is familiar with our experiences dealing with renegades. Is he? He's even read your book. Captain Algren's study of the tribes Ooh, was a crucial factor. So the yellow man can read now. <laughs> now this is a perfect clip for anyone's videos. It <laughs> <laughs> actually is, yeah. What is funny? The core back together again. It's just so. <laughs> what I like about Tom Cruise is that he plays a very convincing human. <laughs> ne never before have I seen a robot act like such a clever human. Good robot? Human. He's an alien, not a robot. Well, whatever, you know, some non human entity. <laughs> we contacted you because that's, you that's the power of science, Sargon. Yeah, yeah and you exactly. Us of his participation. I'll do it. I just need a minute. I did what I was ordered to do out there. So what do you say we put the past behind? That's where the past always is. Yeah, idiot. For 500 bucks a month, I'll kill whoever you want. But keep one thing in mind. I'd happily kill you for free. It's a great line. <laughs> I miss good writing, guys. Yeah, I, know. I don't. Who needs good writing? We can laugh. Yeah. There is some comfort in the emptiness of the sea. Is Mount Fuji that visible from the straw line? No, I no. imagined it was further inland, but apparently, no, no. this is the only. I can see Mount Fuji from my house. False advertising, historically That's inaccurate. Advice. You've got nothing but hills around you, Molly. You can't see anything. No. Well, you know what uh, about the historical inaccuracy thing? I'm surprised none of you have picked up yet. Tom Cruise was not alive during this time. Well, hey, not that you it's know. Tom Cruise's great, 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 great grandfather, Tom Cruise. I figured they'd have the same name. Tom Cruise I mean, he is could be that old, and he'll just look the same because it's yeah, Tom Cruise. Yeah, he, he's so. actually 300 years old. Now. Oh no, lower frame rate. I don't this know. This is action see, scene. See, for you guys, right, I hate that in slow motion scenes when it's just like they've taken normal footage and like spun it down so like the frame rate's terrible. It's to evoke what? memory, drinker. No, it doesn't. It <laughs> no. Doesn't. Memor memories no. don't work like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it gives us a I good do. sense of that is memory, this is real time this is happening that isn't happening. all my memories are in slow motion and low frame rate the individual memories are lower quality but i can hold so much more of them so what you're saying is you're actually a tom cruise movie right Ooh, right so you were tom cruise 
Here he is. Captain Auburn, I presume? Yes. Oh, jolly good. How do you do? Good. We get the incompetent Englishman that the Americans love to train. Sleep. Don't forget Podgy. Oh, look at this. Yeah. yeah. But the, the thing, thing is, the thing is Sargon, he'll, he'll have a good heart, heart, though. He's like a good person. <laughs> Just because he's not fucking got a lightsaber and running around killing robots doesn't make him not a good guy, okay? Lady in a box. Lady in a box. Yeah, why'd they put her in a box like that? Why not? Because that's where women should be. No. Get in your box, damn it. In your box. Convenient form of transportation. <laughs> I had a rather unfortunate tendency to tell the truth in a country where no one ever says what they mean. I, I've been to Japan and there's an interesting cultural reality about that. You know when you're like mm -hmm. speaking to someone's like, hey we'll see you next week, yeah we'll see you next week, right? Those are just usual just niceties people say in Japan that they don't mean. Um, and there's a lot oh. of cultural like things like that where they say stuff they don't mean just out of politeness. I'd be fucking frustrated as hell if they said see you next week and the next week I'm standing there alone like <laughs> <laughs> We were playing Dungeons and Dragons and you guys didn't turn up. Well imagine like setting up a, a recording to watch a movie or something and people don't show up. It's yeah. insane. Well, I'm sure if you yeah, schedule who would it do like, that. I can't it's imagine those... that more. It's never happened. <laughs> The Divine Emperor Meiji bids you welcome. He is grateful for the assistance your country offers. We hope to He's accomplish doing his the same Michael Jackson cosplay with a one leg glove. <laughs> yeah, imagine like, Tom Cruise gets a torch <laughs> out, just shines a flashlight at him, like, I can't see you, buddy. He, like, can't can't see you. <laughs> the Emperor wishes to ask Captain Olguin if it is true they wear eagle feathers and that they have no fear. They are very brave. Uh, Thank you. Very much. Step back and turn. I would have died if they hadn't hey, done that, right? You little bastards! You must <laughs> were yelling that in the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the first rank will kneel. I don't know what accent he's doing. It's funny though. It's <laughs> brilliant. For six months' work, I am to receive three years of captain's pay. They are an army of conscripts. Most of them are peasants who have never even seen a gun. Bull crap! Japan had firearms for friggin' ages! They were- Samurai were using it in heaps! These people weren't. Who am I to trust? The peasants film or maybe you? didn't have them, but Japan were very familiar with firearms at this point. No, they only ever had swords. Today they still only have swords. That's what I've seen. They only swords today, that's true. How do you think they lost World War II? But Samurai were freaking using flintlock <laughs> muskets, man! They, no, they, they, they in their little planes, really quick. they were dropping swords on people. It was really yeah. crazy. Well, they had guns that fired swords out at the end of them. Because the <laughs> controversy with Pearl Harbor was they dropped a really big sword. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> what they're saying here is bullcrap. The samurai will not dishonor themselves by using firearms. They freaking used them heaps! Sorry. I often dishonor myself by using firearms. <laughs> They're paradoxical people, Samurai. I've been trying to write a book about them for years, but they tend to get very much themselves. The bastards are still wearing armor. <laughs> yes, and when the Irish were still comporting themselves in loincloths, these chaps were already the most sophisticated warriors on earth. I need more detailed information than their battle tactics. Oh, crap. There's several more battle tactics. <laughs> All this cultural supremacy narrative, come on. A fellow linguist? Oh, capital. Jolly good old boy. <laughs> Yeah, he's I a like stereotype, him. but he's Goodbye. a oh, no, fun no, no. man. Cut his tongue out and boil him in oil. I remember this part. Captain Darren. It's about bedtime, isn't it? I've always had a dread fascination with scalping. I never quite understood its technique. This isn't going to go well, is it? Imagine mm. someone who hates you with the utmost intensity, grabbing a handful of your hair while you're lying prostrate and helpless. Ooh. <laughs> and scraping a dull blade of a rusty knife around your scalp. And let your imagination grasp, if you can, Mr. Graham, the effect of a strong, quick jerk oh. to release any clinging particles would have on your nervous system. And you'll have some idea of how it feels to be scalped. Mm. You couldn't just keep it fun, could you? You had to ruin it. Man, y'all suck. Wow, worthless. Rifle butt. Against the shoulder. Uh, butt. Aye. Be funny if only one hit the target and he knew exactly which one it was. Smell your bullet. Oh, wow, look. Nathan! Katsumoto has attacked the railroad okay. at the border of his province. He must be stopped now. They're not ready. The rebels don't have a single rifle. They're savages with bows and arrows. Whose sole occupation for the last thousand years has been war. Man, they're you old. Have superior yeah, I'm not going to say, I don't think you're a thousand years old. Calm down. I am ordering the regiment to move against the rebel Katsumoto. Well, as long as we don't engage him in, like, a forest that's foggy. Tell this man to fire at me! I beg your pardon? Tell this man 
If he does not shoot me, I will kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Crazy white boy. What do you guys do if you were told you have to kill him or you'll be killed? I think I would just run away. I feel like I'd be killing him. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'd be confused, but I guess I'd kill him. Faster! Fire! Fire! Oh, well, that risk paid off. Gets the point across. Well, it gets some it's ideas across. The problem is, like, he really doesn't want to shoot you, because he's yeah. like, you know, you're... Uh, you, you're my, you would have you're missed like, on purpose. Would he have? Well, I can believe he missed because he's just so stressed out, but, yeah. like... To say that this means they're not ready for high stress situations is one thing, but you might find it much easier to shoot people who are trying to kill him versus a guy who's clearly trying to test him. So I'd be unsure about what I was, it was like, if I kill you, have I done this right? <laughs> the bigger test as well with a flintlock musket is like how quickly can he reload and fire again? So you're gonna get like, what, two rounds per minute maybe if you're lucky? So, hang on. The rebel group of samurai have just burnt down a whole village oppressing peasants, is that? Let's try to draw them in. I'll take it. He refuses to fight against Katsumoto. Well, isn't that your whole thing? Like, the, what we hired you for? <laughs> like, that's why you're there. And who's gonna lead these men? They're on offices for Christ's sake. Let's move to the rear. Fix Bayonets! What's wrong? Are they broken? Already? We haven't even started. Accompany me to the rear. Sergeant Gant, report to the rear. And see to the disposition of the supply trains. Sergeant Gant, did you hear my order? I did indeed, sir. Good, then you will obey it. No disrespect intended, sir, but shove it up your ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay. Sort of predator somewhere over there. What's well, right? I mean, this this scenario is like, man, our guns <laughs> may actually be kind of a little bit more worthless than usual. Actually, it's like, wait, man, I wish we were doing this out on an open field. <laughs> this, this... <laughs> what situation led to no, this? I don't know. Field battle. Like, Cor this is a horrible we're place. Just here. This so, is but, where we are now. We're correct just me here, if I'm I wrong, guess. right? But is cavalry not really badly suited to fighting in forests as well? Like, um, they can't move properly, like, it's, I mean, it's really difficult brilliant. to get them through depends, the branches. Uh, it depends how much underbrush. This is like a well-manicured forest yeah. without any <laughs> yeah. trouble. Well manicured there was a brush forest. fire yesterday. Fire on my order only! It's okay, our enemies are stuck in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We've got two hours to here. The enemies are still loading, sir. You would be firing now. They were easily in range. We don't know how far what away they are. I was going to say, the no camera keeps how zooming. Far away they, are. they haven't shown us to get them together yet. It's a Monty Python sketch. Yeah, yeah it's the Monty Python sketch. They can be two miles away. <laughs> they might not even. Oh, fuck. Oh god, they were so unprepared. <laughs> yeah, I mean, from that one quick shot we had uh -huh. there, it looked like they definitely shot too early. Yeah. It, 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 and the, then breaking the line, if they just held their muskets forward with their bayonets... They'd done a lot of damage like, like that, yeah. yeah. Our men are running from the battlefield! Shame for this play! Undisciplined troops breaking formation is... yeah. Yeah. Throw it at them. <laughs> Oh no, more fog people, no! Oh no, yeah, fuck, the this thing. happened. And they're not in slow motion now. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> they got sped they're moving up at normal so speed. unfair. Billy, <laughs> no! Oh, I've been uh. stabbed by a spear! That was a gut wound, it wouldn't have been an instant kill. No, um, and that reminds me of... Oh, oh you That'd be a crushed horse leg. Your horse. It, would, it would fuck oh. him up, I guess. <laughs> But what's he gonna do? He's just gonna be on the floor crying, pretty much. Oh, bayonet! But that so that was straight through his breastplate. That was, that was pretty fucking cool. So far, the samurai armor is doing spit. Oh, <laughs> oh, I forgot that happened. Jeez. Oh. That, so that went into him, but nowhere near deep enough to be fatal. Yeah. That's for that's fucking cool, lucky, Mister Cruz. I have seen this. <laughs> it reminds me of a great rabbit I saw in, <laughs> in a dream. You remind me of that dream with the 67 hedgehogs. Tiger on the spear thing. Oh. You can see the future. 
Are they all just like, wow, dude, calm down. You've lost. <laughs> you know we're just going to stab you when you get tired, right? And then they're all like, oh, you're stealing the kill? Okay. This is oh, kind well, of ours, fine. but that's right. fine. Well. Yeah, I guess it's yours now. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that'd work. <clears throat> a liar, take it! <laughs> Did you know for the split second he was still alive, he was looking at him like, You son of a bitch! <laughs> wow, what a dick! I this won! Just let me kill you! Yeah, yeah. That's what you get! I really enjoyed that fight. Wh scene. Which okay. way? Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. Like, there was a lot of armor just mm. acting like tissue paper, which yeah, is annoying, yeah, yeah. but that but last shot right in the neck, that was like... the, the The spirit of it was good. You know. Yeah, it was. it was. The soul of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's important. I know him. He's in loads of stuff. And Bullet Train. Yeah. Lots of stuff and Bullet Train? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's the newest... Oh, that dates this. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> done and done. Apple cool. Didn't need to yell. <laughs> I get annoyed how much seppuku is uh, romanticized and stuff. It's ritualistic suicide. I don't consider it a good thing. Well, they who's romanticizing this outside of their own culture? Do people, do people think seppuku is real cool? Oh, weeboos all the time. Oh, yeah. People who love the samurai and stuff. It's like a Nobody song. takes oh, weeboos cool. seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Put those rocks up there. Those will fall down and hit someone. You mean the mountains? <laughs> oh, he's on the side. <laughs> the mountains. The mountains, mountains will fall down and hit someone. <laughs> Put those mountains there. They're gonna fall down and hurt someone. Chickens. <laughs> Look, everybody, we captured Tom Cruise. <laughs> Can you believe it? He's my favorite We're so actor. Excited. That was it was like Tropic real Thunder. They make him the perform village. theater to entertain the children. This is simple, Tom. <laughs> See how all the peasants were like bowing everything? It's like they're slaves. Do you have any like beer? <laughs> <laughs> what is your name? So Robin of Lancelot. I had like a few seconds to say anything. Give me a minute. <laughs> I've been bro, bleeding look, for look hours. Look how wounded I am as well. <laughs> like, give me a break, fuck's sake. Aha, no fear, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he was, he was chopping. Oh. He was getting in there. That was, He's uh, just going to slowly slice shave. his head off. He's like, do you think anyone will notice if I go really slow? <laughs> <laughs> this is my son's village. We are deep in the mountains and the winter is coming. You oh, winter is coming. Yeah. Reference. Jolly good. His son's village. Interesting. Jolly good, he says. <laughs> but that was a, a good, good character moment as well, when he didn't flinch at all to the sword. Yeah. It's well, so, someone I was going to ask, he's a little bit suicidal, right? As a character? Yeah. Because yeah, um, yeah. so. when he said, come on, shoot me, um, I was like, is part of that the fact that he's like, if I was to die right here, that wouldn't be so bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hence the, he was about to chop off his head. He's kind of like, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> if you want well, I mean, he's, you know, he's consumed by his past. He's racked with guilt. Yeah. He's a drunken, you know, loser now. Yeah, he's got nothing to live for. Oh, this isn't the extended edition. There was a, there was like a cut scene of that guy that you know cut his neck right in vi in the village before he went to war, and he's getting teased by these two you know teenage guys, and he just chops one of their heads off because he's pissed off. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, like he's going to get in trouble for he that. He chopped right? a guy's head off because he was teasing him. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> I don't think I've seen the director's it's, cut. It, it's, it's, in, it's one of the cut scenes in this film, but it actually, I feel, is an important scene because it shows essentially the type of caste system that was present in Japan and what the rebels are actually trying to keep in place. The samurai were considered of a higher class and they could oppress and do some really dodgy mm. things, right? And really? get away with it. It's because they're so cool, so, right, Sha? They're so cool. But this is the thing. The context of the film the people that this film wants you to sympathize with, they're actually not the good guys when you understand the greater <laughs> context here. They're what? fighting to keep in place a really oppressive caste system um, and isolationism and, yeah, it's it's like, hmm. Mm. But much cooler than knights. No, piss off. <laughs> yeah, no, they're not. <laughs> knights are freaking way cooler. Don't even go there. Just trying to trigger, okay? I know, I know. <laughs> and I take the bait. Without hesitation. It was cool. I mean, Western look at, look dragons. At all this. this is just so much cooler than medieval Europe. Yeah. Oh, piss off. <laughs> look, it's cool. I'm not saying it's not cool. 
Well, see, they have style. You, you can take your fancy castle shads and, and replace them with Japanese pagodas, and they're far better. <laughs> you don't get an idea now. Do you get stabbed multiple times? Sake. We could really go burger right now, too. <laughs> you guys got a McDonald's or what? Precious <laughs> nectar of the gods. Uh, now, now he's speaking oh, my language. Geez. <laughs> 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 they look at him like, you know, and he's like, you don't know me. You don't know me. You, you shut fuck up, okay? He's having a rough time. He's having he weeaboo withdrawals. He's actually in Japan right now with samurai everywhere, and he, his body just can't take it. It's like overdosing. Yeah. He needs his body pillow. Okay. He's having withdrawals. <laughs> yeah, but it's in yeah, my which village. is in my village. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make us put you in the box. We'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not, it's not like he's having withdrawal, it's that it's allowing all the memories to more so take over his head, right? No alcohol yeah. to separate. Why both? You have he seems to use alcohol as just a coping mechanism to drown his sorrows, forget. I mean, he might we, uh, legitimately be, like, alcoholic. Well, because, yeah, we, we've only ever seen him drunk, right, pretty much? Yeah, so I'd mm. say it's fair yeah. to say he's alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> So, Dude, if you live so next door, you'd be like, what the fuck is, is going on in there? <laughs> That's what I picture drinkers like after 10 minutes without. <laughs> he's, wa much. he's watched Velma that we refuse him Jack Daniels. <laughs> I just hear like screams coming out of my office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Close. Feels better now. I've been sober. I feel like he'd look a lot years. more rough than that. He's looking pretty good. It's like he just had a bath. That's how Tom Cruise always wakes up. They just filmed him. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, any uh, any bars around here? Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if you heard me all night, but uh, sake. <laughs> sake. Like here is water, and he's like, "How much alcohol is in the water?" <laughs> you know that grass looks conspicuously mowed. Uh, no, no they the used little the scissors. Ducks, the ducks keep it trimmed. They the used little scissors. Yep. Little kid the ducks little it one blade at a time. There you go, Shad. You like that smithing? Smithing? I do like smithing. I was like, show us more of that. Bad men, you like that? No, I like to, swords. You need to cut deeper. Cool. You're not hitting the grass. Yeah, this is, these are the mowers. You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that's that's right. The gardeners are practicing keeping the grass down. <laughs> it's, like on, it's like on their motorcycle. It's... <laughs> are they are they trying to portray this like this is his first time he's seen martial arts and combat and stuff? Because no, no, it's probably his just first the first time, time being with... amongst the sort of uh, old world he's... culture. Yeah, plenty. I mean, yeah, I guess the point they're making is like they they spend all their time practicing fighting with war and, and just, just skill for this stuff. And he's kind of getting all that information he actually wanted before the fight now. I mean, it's it goes... a very idealized kind of depiction of what it would have been like. I'm not yeah. saying they didn't practice stuff, but how did that? Happen? What did <laughs> I'm not saying they didn't practice. He would have noticed that. <laughs> yeah, of course they practiced <laughs> things. <laughs> You would have noticed but he was practicing. Come on. Next, they'll show us preparing food or something ridiculous. I know. I, I... Well, no, it's, it's showing the, the contrast between the modern American culture and the traditional Japanese culture. And he's being yeah. won over by the sort of homeliness of it. Sim yeah, there is a wholesomeness to their kind of yeah. old Well, world. except for the but teenage there, de de decapitating the like, you mentioned. It's not well, always it's sunshine and rainbows like they're <laughs> showing. So like, there's a reason why certain, you know, advancements are beneficial and preferable. Yeah, where the hell are the mobile right, phones? I love this architecture. <laughs> where Sorry. are the Instagrams? Yeah, there's no laptops. Mm. How do you get where... social media here? Where's yeah. all the e-thoughts? Where are the bottle cap openers? Yeah, exactly, how could we live in How do you let everyone know you're a good person? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need Tom Cruise walking around and be like, I donate to charity, by the way. Uh, I, I <laughs> vote for the correct <laughs> candidates, by the way. <laughs> this temple was built by my family a thousand years ago. This year? What a momentous... <laughs> <laughs> wow. What is your name? So, just interesting contrast, because this isn't a really, you know, beautiful um, temple with that great uh, timber work. So, Japanese uh, carpentry was actually quite advanced, but one of the reasons is because building in stone to that size would never survive the earthquakes they regularly got. And so, Europe advanced really far with their masonry and architecture in their like, cathedrals, hmm. um, and Japan focused on, the, on timber work. 
That's a pretty interesting fact, actually. It is. Thank you. I didn't have as many nails. I knew we kept you around for a reason, Chad. Oh, see? That's why I'm here. But they didn't advance in the field of knives and forks. That's right. But they, yeah, which is weird. Like, like, a spoon. Great thing, guys. Might be useful. It's like, really how could they not think of a spoon? Many of our customs seem strange to you, and the same is true of yours. Not to introduce yourself is considered extremely rude, even among enemies. Oh. Damn. Bird. Is it doing a good job of explaining Japanese honor culture here, though? Nathan Ogren. I'm honored to meet you. I have enjoyed this conversation in English. You know, he did say Nathan Algren pretty fast. I, I could assume, assume he's like, eh. Nathan Algren. Like, it's all one word. I have questions. Christian's gone later. Who's a warrior in the red armor? I said later. His brother-in-law. Hirotaro. And the woman who cares Oof. for me. My sister. Hirotaro's wife. Seems wrong. Her name is Taka. Why did you do that? It was a good death. That doesn't answer my question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in his defense, the guy was about to kill him. So, you know. That's no reason. Yeah. Okay. Get what you fucking deserve. It's pretty selfish. Well, you know. <laughs> Picturing Joker Good. on the floor and he grabs yeah. a revolver. <laughs> <laughs> Kids playing with wooden sticks as swords. Awesome. Oh, I need to bring this back. You're being such a tryhard, Billy. Yeah. Just sparring, see, Jesus. I remember liking this. Done. It looks like he's picking it up to be helpful, but now it's like, uh, yeah, sure, I'll fight you if you want. It's like, no, that's not. <laughs> you tried. Yeah, kids try try to ass, beat buddy. the child then, with a stick. If you have Funny if he it. just like absolutely knocked him out just one hit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's what you get. The child just goes like, I need to fight him. He's an adult. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. The kids seem really on board. Like I would have fucked this guy up. Kids doing it. Look at him. No, no, like, too bad. Yeah. Tom Cruise is like, I'm gonna stop you. I'm much bigger. And then the adults arrive and ruined everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was just having fun. Please. <laughs> what was the problem? Kazuna, what is it? <laughs> this this no, is such a just, I, I ain't doing what you tell me to do. Yeah, I like my stick. I'm going to keep yeah. this. This is mine now. <laughs> this is my you holding stick. Given to me <laughs> many years ago, it to passed me. down through my family. It's an heirloom. I've had this stick for years. I knew this, the tree this, this came from. Scene. Can we do it like tomorrow? It's not raining. It's like really uncomfortable. Oof. Oh, I, I remember, I remember really liking out. this bit though. Like just him absolutely refusing to let it go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's great. He is indomitable. Ouchie. Ow, my head. Hurt. That, that, that really would freaking hurt, man. Getting smacked in the side of the face with a solid wooden stick like that. Just... <clears throat> He's trying to use it in the way that he's been trained. He obviously was trained with sabers, and not extensively, because a saber would be a backup weapon for his military experience. So he wouldn't be that well competent with a sword, and then is just holding it that type of shape wrong. And so it's just, I like details like that. Yeah. Ow. Ow. My knee. Taking Ow. it too far, bro. He's being pretty <laughs> chill, you know? He did kill my husband, but he is pretty chill. Oh, yeah, I like him. <laughs> Except for that <laughs> I'm bit. <laughs> I'm keeping it. I'm Except like, that you know, bit. I'm my stick. I love it. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't just dragged it off him. Like, Fuck off. Stop picking it back up. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. I just wanted the kids to stop I mean, fighting. This is such a great character moment, because it just mm. tells you... It reinforces what we know of the character. You know he's looking around like, I'm, I'm not the bad guy. He's, he's, he started it. I've yet to thank you for looking out for me yesterday. That is your job, correct? Well done, Bob. Wait, well, yeah, he just calls, calls this guy Bob. Bob, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he says, thanks for protecting me yesterday. <laughs> hey, cheers, Bob. Appreciate it. You ladies man, Bob? <laughs> I bet he is. You like you like Who's movies, Bob? You the way of the Japanese sword? I mean, teaching is one way to phrase it, yeah. Definitely, I learned so he, much. Kinda, it looks like he just climbed in through a window there. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know Yours the savages don't have right. doors where you come from. <laughs> I'm just going to lay down here on the floor if that's okay. <laughs> is this culturally okay? I can't keep track. I, would rather I always keep thinking of uh, the Simpsons episode right. where they go to Japan and like Homer just keeps walking, walking straight through, through like the paper yeah. walls. <laughs> <laughs> As a captain, this is a low rank. Yeah, so a so, yeah. It's yeah, all right, yeah. A middle yeah, rank. Yeah. Yeah. And who was your general? Don't you have a rebellion to lead? People in your country do not like conversation. His name is Custer. I know this name. He killed many warriors. Many. So he was a good general. 
No, he wasn't a good general. He was arrogant and foolhardy. And he got massacred because he took a single battalion against 2,000 angry Indians. 2,000 Indians? How many men for Custer? 211. I like this general. <laughs> I like this <Lucas>. Custer. <laughs> <laughs> and his troopers died for it. I think this is a very good death. Well, maybe you can have one just like it someday. If it is my destiny. What do you want from me? What do you want for yourself? I want to no, go home. Damn your riddles, old to man. The, <laughs> to you. The bar. Why are we having these conversations? What the hell am I doing here? What the hell are any of us doing here? Oh, I can't yell now. What no, is this? <laughs> oh, you didn't come He's when gone. I was yelling Saki. And the pastures will open. Until that time, you are here. Good day, Captain. The, these are coming. great interactions between him and uh, yeah, what's cool. his name again? Katsumoto. Katsumoto. Yeah, they're, they're character building between the both of them. And... But it's not just that, it's the cultures that are interacting. Because mm. what Tom Cruise's character is looking for is it a heroic is. warrior justification for Dang. what he does. And the reason he has such guilt is because he doesn't have one. Whereas Katsumoto is part of this honorable warrior culture, and so he doesn't have any moral problems with the way his life is. Look at me, Bob. <laughs> this is what you've what? done to me, Bob. <laughs> Bob, it actually hurts everywhere. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Bear the witch! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Are you gonna beat me with the stick again? Oh no. Oh. You still don't hurt my stick, you dick. <laughs> I just felt a bit better. Are you gonna teach me or am I gonna get hurt? I still got my stick. Look, Tom Cruise, you're gonna have to beat this guy up. It's gonna, it's be, gonna be an arc related satisfying. thing, okay? Yeah. Chop his head off with a wooden stick. <laughs> yeah. It'll be difficult, ow, but you can ow. do it. <laughs> you just need to swing hard enough. It's dull, it'll hurt more. <laughs> we need to watch that. This is just that Star Wars kid, but with Tom Cruise. <laughs> that samurai kid. Don't laugh at Sorry, me. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm My ego can't that. take it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> this tells us, like, it was pretty cringe, bro. I'm Ogren. Ogren. Aluglen. What the fuck? That's exactly what I said. Aluglen. Ogren. Aluglen. Aluglen. Mispronouncing my name is a big cultural insult, just like now. Yeah. Magojiro. Magojiro. Gigan. Which one is called Godzilla? Fuck off. Taka. Honey, we. Get out of the way. Okay, yeah, you're going to the. Okay. Dude, that. That needs to be in a Velma video for somebody. I asked permission to end my life. Yeah, to be fair, your husband did try to kill him when he was on the ground, so. Yeah. yeah. You don't need to say it was yeah, well, Kaba. Yeah, he basically said that. He said. You know, he, he tried to kill him, he got killed. It was super it straightforward. It's cause and effect, my lady. I don't know. Your husband knew what he signed up for. You also Be killed reason. the guy's friend. You want to mention that, too? Yeah. She's been very kind to me. She's honored to have my guest in her house. Liar! Lies! It's just kind of paying off that opening line where, you know, I have a tendency to tell the truth in a country where no one ever says what they mean. Mm. Oh, he has uh, grass cutting duty now. There you ah, go, so there's the snow, snow shad. Is the snow? You know, knights don't deal very well in snow. What does it mean to be samurai? <laughs> samurai no do, does. though. What does it mean oh, to be crap. samurai? Yeah, any any excuse to take a pop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he sucks in desert shad. <laughs> knights. <laughs> he's so actually, silly. Like, actually, yeah, he's they, they you know, you're, you're, more accustomed to the desert because of the Crusades. They were yeah. there for a while. Yeah. You never see knights in space because they would suck. Knights, knights would be oh. out there <clears throat> with if you take the ones that experienced and had experience with crusades, they'd be able to handle the desert way better than the samurai. Oof. You know who did really badly in World War II, Shad? That's right, knights. <laughs> you know what Tom Cruise is wearing? It's actually very comfortable. It's a, it's a bit tight around the waist, but man, it breathes and, and is unrestrictive. It's a very comfortable. You know, I was wearing just a belt. <laughs> no, no, pants can. <laughs> you know, ride up and be tight and not give you much room. They're like, 
the Hakama, I think they call it. They, they got so much room to breathe. It was like yeah. they're very comfy. And you're not very naked comfy. when you have that on, Rags. You are with just the mm -hmm. belt, almost. That's true. The belt is an accessory. Sorry for your husband, Hirotaro. Oh. That was a character building moment for her. She's basically coming to terms with and not blaming him necessarily anymore. She's like, you know, he did his duty, you did yours. It happens. Well, and we get to see the her true core feelings earlier. She does come across as a very real person, just being like, pretty it's difficult, you know. He could kill my husband. Farms. But I can believe she gradually gets over it as well, I suppose. Mm. Yeah. I've never been a church going man. What I have seen on the field of battle has led me to question God's purpose. But there is indeed something spiritual. In this when he place. says God, do you think he means Zenu? Probably. <laughs> 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 no, I don't want to question Zenu's purpose. But... See, I would be worried now if I were vaguely antagonistic man. Cause like, oh, Tonker's been training for a while and this is a movie, so. <laughs> How many montages have oh, you been hurt. a part of? And Tonker's is like three. <laughs> and he's like, oh shit. I don't need to montage. Oh, it's on now. <laughs> How many was that? The yeah. actual sword play here is pretty darn good. Like, it actually got good choreography here. And it's something I miss in a lot of modern films. He's doing what Ray did in The Force Awakens. You've got to focus. Oh, oh stop it. I am all the Jedi. <laughs> I hate He's you. He's the guy playing a flute. Right He's becoming up. all yeah. of the no, samurai. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> when Ray <laughs> takes the sort of beatings that Tom Cruise has taken in this, I'll, she'll be redeemed, okay? Ray was an alcoholic. Ray... <laughs> A force alcoholic. <laughs> alcoholic war criminal Ray. Ray had a... <laughs> see it's that. the shit Ray kicked out of her by a Japanese man. In Ray killed, Ray killed so, so many children, many, you have no um, idea. So younglings, they're called... The yeah. Poor younglings. <laughs> and whatever the fuck salacious crumb is, she killed dozens She of killed them. so dozens. many crumbs. <laughs> he crumbs. It was a crumb massacre. Oh, that's actually a good spin, moving around the body to try and get behind him. That was great. Nice. But they are. They, <gasps> they drew they, oh, our fingers. That was great. Oh. I love yeah. it. Why do they have Aren't him announce good. it? Gosh. Because if we didn't have people announcing exactly how they felt, then it wouldn't be an anime, Mahler. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think this is an anime, but you, you're right. This what? is absolutely an anime. <laughs> what about this doesn't make it an anime? See, respect that. Yeah. And you know what? Oh, it's a little it's, bit subversive in that now you kind of expect anime. they give him the win, but they give him a draw. Which I think is probably more realistic, it. actually. It the, is. That guy but... is going to be fucking dominating him most of the time, right? This is cute as well. Cute. Sargon, really? He's supposed to yeah, be the adorable. great man who leads his culture, not embarrassing himself. This is clown worthy. It, the, the point, he shows virtue in every respect of his life, right? And so there's no question that he's in charge and no question he's a great swordsman. So it's cute that he can relax and be part of the group. Oh, absolutely. I love Kasimoto's, like, chill, but when this starts happening, yeah. he goes super serious mode pretty quick. <laughs> ninjas! 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 Damn ninjas ninjas ruining Are everything! Are wearing their ninja oh. uniforms? See, Let's Rags, this, this is fun. why Fringy asked, which I prefer, and I said, Samurai are cooler because ninjas, you know, they, they're just, they don't have to do as much Ruins. work to beat ninjas their enemy. Gay. Yeah, they're cheating. Yeah. Oh, I killed you without you even knowing I was there. It's like, yeah, that's not fair. Why don't they have throwing stars though? That's what I want to know. Oh, they'll 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 have. Good thing you looked over there at that moment. Yeah. Shut up, Rags. What do you mean? Yo! Looked like he was missing that anyway. Crossbows. The the bow and arrow of the coward. Well, that was a ninja star. Hey, yeah, yeah. Sure, Throwing can. stars. They look oh, like no, they're such in the back. impractical weapons. They're very uh, impractical. I'll have you know, it's I never like, missed oh, the throwing spike. Oh, got him. So, the throwing spike has more historical validity than the throwing star. Oh, Shad, stop ruining everything. <laughs> Shad, complete, keep ruining things. What about, yeah, what about ninja claws? Uh, yeah, as oh, weapons, wow. very Double dubious. Kill. Oh, this is actually a very cool action kind of scene. 
It's, they action do very well. Kind of scene. Action kind of I think it's just an action <laughs> scene, yeah. <laughs> You and then just were like, what? What's this white boy doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. Got oh, him. why weren't you in the box? This is why she's not in the box. <laughs> you can't use the I, table. Uh, See, that wasn't historically <laughs> accurate. The, sound, the sword would have gone straight through the fucking table. Would it? Of course no. it would. It's a samurai <laughs> sword. Yeah, but what if the oh, table were made off. of, like, <laughs> steel? <laughs> The fact that the ninja have ninja toe, and ninja toe is a very historically dubious weapon, is just another inaccuracy! Ninja toe, really? <laughs> ninja toe, yep. Oh, is that like a kicking it. move? Oh, fuck! Oh. Ouchies! Ow, my oh, face! Oh, oh, no. In the eye! Hey, but the kid held his own! <laughs> Aim for the nards! Oh, blackface! Wow! Wait, see? <laughs> Oh, yeah. that throw. He threw that like that a, like it was fired from a gun. It's a sword gun. Like there it around. is. I knew it was real. Oh no! Thanks for waiting, guys. Enforcements. It's like it's the fights that They're come in waves. They're together. It's great. Bob, Bob, Bob is doing really well. Just hacking him up. I don't know what he just said, but it sounded like he announced their victory. And there's like one guy left. Like I don't have one yet. Fuck you. Chad, do you know who's really weak against ninjas? Oh, and no. by the Samurai, way, actually. Knights would do really well because of all the plate mail. Like, the one thing right. that Knights would be good against. Yes. <laughs> one thing. The one the thing. thing. Who sent those men to kill you? I'm writing a poem about a dream I had. That's not no, that's the question I asked you. <laughs> I like my own, but he comes from a cross, a deep, untroubled deceit. Oh, oh man, if I would be a line, that would be about really, me. Uh, uh, it's probably really easy to write poetry if it doesn't have to rhyme. If yeah. You, yeah. My death. you just sort of say stuff. Yes, I'm, just, I'm just gonna say it. I just don't respect poetry that doesn't rhyme. Uh, get fucking good. Get fucking good. Last line? I'm not a writer. Yeah. That's a sh terrible last line. I've read too many pages since you came here. Okay, that's You're not reading what I meant. my diary. What the fuck? But what else has she told you? You have nightmares. He was screaming like. <laughs> the, people, like yeah. the whole village knows you scream sake all night. Every soldier has nightmares. Only one who is ashamed of what he has done. That's actually a good yeah, line. No there you go. What I have done. Actually, it's not necessarily true though. You can get PTSD nightmares even if you feel it was right. Just the horror and the, impact the stress, and isn't battle. it? Battle yeah, and stress. So I withdraw. It's a good line. It's actually. I don't know. He's, well, he's it's a line that would come from Katsumoto. I, think. I can yeah, see he, where it's coming from. Yeah. He's talking about being embedded in a in a warrior culture. This is the thing. We like the moderns just have no concept of it. The moderns. <laughs> Tom <Yeah>. Cruise. <laughs> yeah. All the moderns. I'm not a modern. Everyone else is a modern. <laughs> You're a I'm, a modern. I'm, a I'm a pastor. Although I get the sentiment, uh, Carl. No. Hmm. Reject modernity. Embrace tradition. Does it make you angry though that the only Englishman in this is like a podgy fool who flips yes. over and stuff? Yes. Fucking American films. Well, that's like all English. Fucking American films. Oh, fuck off, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Saga, you must love the Patriot. I feel like you'd all die watching it. I'm not sure. Doesn't he win by like stabbing the the he bad does. guy with the stars and stripes? It's fucking epic. I'm a <laughs> British <laughs> guy and like... it's fucking epic. <laughs> Stabbing him with freedom. <laughs> <laughs> like, Why this... is he hanging around her when she's supposed to be taking a bath? I don't know. It's kind of weird, Mr. Cruz. And Bob's over there yeah. like, dude, yeah. come on. He's telling he has to leave. and But, you know, he's like, I want to say goodbye first before he heads out. Where is she? Ah, oh, she's over this place. So where are they off to? Is it to see the Emperor? Yeah, I think they're trying to mm -hmm. negotiate, aren't they? We're off to see the Tokyo. Emperor, the wonderful Emperor of Japan. When they meet up and they're like, with the, with the ninjas it. you? And he's like, yeah, the ninjas with me. He's like, ah, oh, I fucking do it. <laughs> you That's crazy wrong. guy. Always, <laughs> Always with your ninjas. Actually, it wasn't the emperor that sent him. It was yeah. that assistant guy with the weird yeah. mustache. <laughs> hey, Is he's trying, okay? Oh, yeah, those guns are going to be relevant later. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, you are alive. As soon as the emperor signs the damn trade agreement, he gets the whole package. 200 rounds a minute. Ooh. The new cartridge is cut down on jamming. See, this is how the Industrial Revolution destroys tradition. I need a bath. After living with those savages, I can only imagine. They're not savages, but their poetry doesn't rhyme, so it's yeah. a wash. <laughs> <laughs> They're not far away. And so we're going to need these weapons when we get invaded by aliens, okay? Yeah. What are we going to do against them with swords? 
That is a funky look he's got going on there, son. <laughs> I am. Do you have a oh corn gosh, cob shoved up your asshole? What are you talking about like that? <laughs> it's the new <laughs> style, I don't know. Yeah. No, I didn't even no, know. Didn't know. Why, why, no. you, why do you all want to kill yourself? You don't end your life <laughs> yet. I might need you. I hope you like this corn on the cob. If not, I'm going to kill myself. Like, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Katsumoto, this is a rare opportunity and you should take it. If I was Katsumoto's friend, I'd be nudged him like, dude, take the offer. Sir, about the. I'm sure your documents are in order, Ambassador. Thank you. I could have written anything in here. Oh, yeah, well, this like says I fucked your mom and you signed it. <laughs> <laughs> this document says that we now own Japan. <laughs> yeah, sure, it's fine. What? As long as I get my weapons, that's fine. Someone else we should be speaking to. For instance, the French. Or the English. Well, the English are pretty cool. forward to hearing from you. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Captain Holguin, perhaps you and I might have a word in private. Please sit down. He's like, no, I'm okay, and just walks out. May I offer you whiskey? No, thank you. Oh, he doesn't drink anymore. Become a best He's a bad arc. Is he not? They ruined his character. You are right, Captain Oglin. Last year, we are not prepared to go to battle. But now we are ready. And with these new weapons, you will crush him. I appreciate the offer. It is not an offer. What is it? My contract with you was to train your army. Then we will make a new contract. I will oh, so sign I it. Use the offer. <laughs> well, I just won't <laughs> sign it then. I will make you sign it. It was to train the army. Why did he lead them in battle last time? That's true. Yes, we understand each other perfectly. Then I'm pleased. So I guess he fucking hated doing that, right? And he only did it because they were so Maybe not ready. He... Yeah, and it was like they're going to die if I'm not there, which they died oh, anyway, yeah. but. I can hear you guys! <laughs> he hasn't left the Alert room yet. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? Did he say kill him in English? <laughs> so you know that cutscene that I mentioned? Yeah. If that was kept in, that would contrast really well to this scene. Mm. Because before, anyone, you know, bothering the samurai, he just like, didn't take it. But this time, they don't have any power because the law is being changed against them. I'm sure enacting laws against the samurai oh. and humiliating them Captain publicly Algren caused them to join the rebellion. Him? Yeah. Damn. Didn't he just, he just identified him as like the, as a rank Captain and then he attacked Algren, him? And then he attacked yeah. him. That's weird. I cut the bullets with my sword. <laughs> no, no, that that doesn't happen. It does. I've it happens in fuck uh, X Men Origins Wolverine, a famously good film. Mm. Oh, well, he's like, oh, we're worried the samurai are going to join his cause. And it's like, well, if you're going to publicly humiliate them and, you know, persecute them, with, you know, and create laws against them, yeah, they probably fucking will. Isn't that a specific type of samurai haircut? Well, that's a particular probably, yeah. specific kind it was, of humiliation, great I guess, summer. right? Cutting the beard off a dwarf. So at this time, I think it's the carrying or wearing swords were outlawed, but they didn't take the swords. Did they take their, his sword off? Sword, I think they did, didn't they? Yeah, they, yeah, did. they, yeah. they took them. And so any laws against, you know, people being able to own and own swords, I am completely against. I'm on the samurai side now. Screw them. Oh. <clears throat> oh, just kill him, for fuck's sake, I hate this guy. <laughs> doesn't kill him already, Jeez. You know you want to, Katsumoto. <laughs> if we are whores, the samurai made us that way. What the hell is going on? Hey, Emperor, remember when you said I should tell you what to do? Let me stay with my swords, please. This oh. dude sent ninjas after me, can I kill him? <laughs> Japan had been regulating who could own weapons for a long time before this. This is just when they are... Uh, restricted the samurai from wearing them but before then the samurai were perfectly fine to not let the peasantry uh own swords and stuff like that this is why a lot of the martial arts is based around farming implements and peasant tools and things like you know the karma and and stuff because that's the only tools and weapons that a lot of people get their hands on you don't want peasants owning weapons chad you might start thinking they're your equal well well that like piss off everyone should be allowed to own swords and weapons wow Hey, free knife, though. Yo, free knife. Uh-oh, he's going towards Katsumoto. They're going to try and kill him. 
Doesn't something weird happen here? Like he predicts what they're gonna do, or he does sees it in slow mo or something. Yeah, he kind of imagines it. So near the beginning, four guys, one one verse four. In reality, this would be impossible. To He's done so. It'd be so hard. Yeah, yeah. But stop I, ruining I, it, Chad. I, no, 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 no. I remember Let him have the his moment. Looking he's pretty he's cool, in tune with still. the warrior spirit of the samurai here. Yes, let, me, is, let me guess, Chad. A knight would be able to get over this one. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to see all of this in slow mo again, I think, so we'll understand just how good or bad it was. It was getting a lot of close ups and hard cuts. Oh. It's hard um, to see what's happening here. It is hard to see. That seemed cool. That that was too many close cuts. Again, in slow mo. Confusing. Yeah. So this is this is him, sort of, not having PTSD Just over flashback. rather understanding yeah. what's happening Smoother and knowing this was. And... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what, Drinker? I think this justifies the um the way they were showing flashbacks before compared to now. This is kind of cool, actually, as a way. Drinker, take it back. Showing that he's dealing better with his own memory of killing people. Ooh. I'm having my moment. Leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. The, I think <laughs> that, that did look that great. And I think cool. that he's at a level of peace now, isn't he? With Exactly. Got an equilibrium. I was about to say, what kind of fucking weird horses are those? And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, I was like, leaned in? And I was like, what the fuck is happening? You're like, oh, right. These are just foreigners. Oh, yeah, did Tom Cruise's advice was just keep walking, right? Or pushing forward. Wow. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> I like that. Really projecting authority there, isn't he? This is the president of America. <laughs> <laughs> is it for real? <laughs> oh, I, 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 I didn't vote for him. <laughs> like, guys, Tom Cruise is the president of the United States. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, a lot of people voted. Maverick must have stole really well. He got yeah. to be president now. <laughs> What do you guys think is the character's motivation to be on Katsumoto's side here? Because I don't think he'd be motivated about the actual politics of what's going on, where he feels like, I need to protect Japanese traditions yeah, against I don't think modernization. He gives a shit no, at this point, it's having. I think he just respects the is, is it just because he has it? He respects him and is a friend, and. He did seem. Remember, something I really liked was when they were asking him about the nature of the oh, red man sort of thing, and they yeah. kept asking like almost stereotypical questions, and his yeah, response was like. Swords. They fought with courage, like he had. Yeah. Well, um, as, yes. As if uh, basically what they did to, you know, natives was not good to him, as far as he's yeah. concerned. It doesn't matter what political There's advantage there was. Hey, who left these guards here? Was well, like I, yeah, they were I obviously there killing was. women and children. So for him, it's like they didn't fight with a shred of honor. One group of people have honor, and the other don't. Yeah, and that's who he clearly is choosing at this point to side with. Oh. Must suck to get shot through the throat with an arrow. It doesn't matter what it's with, really, does it? I, I feel like it would feel weird to have wood through your throat. I don't know. It would be a unique experience, but I guess a bullet isn't better. Oh, I'll tell you what it's like to have wood through your throat. Dart. No. <laughs> all right, you got a little bit of blood armor there. Yeah, just a little bit. Thank God, Japanese people are terrible. Well, shot. they don't oh, seem very painful. good with those rifles. Didn't they talk about how they were trained better at this point? Hey, our guys with arrows, shoot those I was dudes. gonna say, they still have- yeah. Bob is still there, he's a bone arrow man. Bob. Shoot more guys, come on. Finally. Break. He's just busy with all them ladies, man. These, uh, these soldiers, they're not terribly good at using cover, are they? No. All their guns, they're just really oh, bad. Yeah. They're like stormtroopers. Uh, I do like a consistency with Tom Cruise's character here, that he took part in the kind of- the eradication of a, you know, tribal yeah. native people. And now, he, yeah, he wants to fight against that. So, his second chance. He's appreciated this virtue to their way of life. Well, and they did a lot for him in a way, right? They've, from what they they've said, wounded him and they then cured his alcoholism. Down. I mean, he was a prisoner of war. They could easily have fucking killed him. But they wouldn't really be that far out of a they moral choice. Him but in alcohol. What I'm talking about is, yeah, they they actually fixed up his alcoholism and they give him a bunch of things to think about that have really helped him uh, mm. sort out his point of view. 
Fuck me, dude. If you'd stayed behind the tree, you could have killed everyone. Man, these guys <laughs> with rifles are really, really bad shots. Yeah, like... <laughs> these guns are really weird as well. Like, they can't fuck this up. I'm, I'm shocked they were able to hit him. Bravery right there. Even stormtroopers wouldn't have missed that, though. I don't know, man. Have you seen yeah. Star Wars recently? <laughs> it's, it's a tough one to watch. Ah, fair point. Fair point. May 25th, 1877. This will be the last entry in this journey. Man, that is a wet stone. No, Ooh, that is rags, they're actually it is. cold wet stones. I don't know if you yes. know that. What? Right? Yeah. yeah. Do they only work if they're wet? Yeah. Also, we are heading for a big battle. How many big battles have we watched in this series of movies now? Remember the Army uh, of Darkness big battle? I, I'd be great. quite disappointed the if we most watched a war movie with that battle. Fantastic of them all. <laughs> Ew, another romance scene. Ew, Snowy. No, oh. You just yank that right off, can't you? You just, uh, <laughs> get the old grab a Rooney. Yank it. Mola for the sex scene. I didn't do nothing. Also, this is uh, uh, Driggy, you were like, oh, it'd be bad if we had a movie you didn't have a big fight scene. There was no big fight scene in sh Season of the Witch, was there? I are, I would dispute that, sir. <laughs> that confrontation at the end was did you truly even, epic. Did you even review that on either channel? You probably oh, didn't. Oh, fuck no, no. You terrible man. <laughs> How can you not raise awareness for a film that no one's heard of? I can't believe it. I have done a few of the ones that we've covered. I did uh, <laughs> uh, Zorro. Dude, through that, you can partially trace when all of these actually got recorded. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of Nicolas Cage fans out there who never heard of Season of the Witch, and I just think that's a tragedy. You should watch <laughs> The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, everyone. It's a good film. You really should. I'm just it's mulling great. over the concept of a Nicolas Cage fan. What? What, what sort of person is a Nicolas Cage Are you Cage not? Fan? I'm, I, hey, I'm not saying I don't enjoy Nicolas, uh, Nicolas Cage. I'm just then thinking... you're a fan. Would, yeah, I love no, that, no, the no, concept no, of a Nicolas Cage yeah, fan. Would I describe yeah. myself as a fan? You know, if you're like, a human being, you're a Nicolas Cage fan. That's kind of... Well, yeah, so no, Tom Cruise like, is not a Nicolas Cage fan, but that's like the only one. Could you imagine if this, this movie starred Nick Cage instead of Tom Cruise? Oh, it would <laughs> be so much been. better. <laughs> Nicolas Cage is just the emperor for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean the samurai are coming? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's wearing the husband's no, armor. dude. Now. Which oh, feels, you know, that's 50-50 in terms of like, mm, I can kind of, mm, but, uh, you know. It's, it's dramatic payoff, but it's also weird. So, would they have learned that armor probably is very ineffective against guns, you know? Yeah, but point? you're not going to take it off. It looks cool. Because obviously, knights wear Maybe it for protection. Look, look, they don't wear it to look cool. <laughs> There's a chance because muskets have lower velocity, but still they would more often than not go through. But it would turn a bayonet. But the film has shown not in this know, movie. Sword, not in this movie exactly. This they're, movie they're, they attract bayonets through. like magnets. <laughs> I was about to say it's like, oh, you know, your armor might not work on bullets. Like this will work on fucking butter knives. So, like whatever, <laughs> we wear it to be cool. What does it say? I belong to the warrior in whom the old ways have joined the new. Yeah. War. They're still yelling all the way. Ah. <laughs> you see, they'll be looking for guys in camouflage. <laughs> if you knew you were going up to an army full of like people using firearms, and you've got bows and arrows and swords, this is suicide. Why well, are they committing to the battle in? this open field like this. Since we've all seen this before, we can start talking about this is a bait, right? They pretend that they're losing miserably because the guns, they draw them away and then they ambush them. Uh, I think yeah. is the plan. But Sh Shad is totally right. You wouldn't, you wouldn't fight this battle, Jesus. No, I, mean, there's, uh, there's uh, trees I think that's why... woodland on both sides. Like, Sh Shad you know, is it's like, yeah, use your there. fog trees. You yeah. used them before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> use the fog, fog trees. trees. Are they still on cooldown? It's been like a year. That's like Katsumoto's <laughs> ulti and it's still on cooldown. The other, like, <laughs> funny inaccuracy about this is that the samurai would all have guns as well. <laughs> like, yeah. like they, they, they wouldn't be that stupid to just try and fight at such a disadvantage. And the samurai have been were using firearms for ages, so that's a it's just a funny, such a huge inaccuracy that this film is portraying. <laughs> no, it's not that funny. Oh, oh, like we're gonna die. We have, but... we have <laughs> 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 fucked. 
So it looks like the samurai are almost outnumbered three to one. No, correct me if I'm wrong, right? But you wouldn't fix it's bayonets wrong, at this range because does it not make it really difficult to aim and fire with a bayonet on the end of your gun? Quite possibly. Rags, not not as much as. Yes. <laughs> Ah, it depends. I, it actually does depend on how I thought you would only fix bayonets if it, it's like. It wouldn't charged, matter that situation. much. You want to have it ready. But, but like, generally, know, you would fix them if you wanted to, like, prepare them for crap. a charge. Holy crap! They're in cannon range? No, they're not. No, that, this is. That you see this a lot. They knew just where to stand. Petri's the only no, that, one I've seen where cannonballs actually bounce as they would in yeah, real life. Yeah, cannonballs are bounce, and they had. That's some why they're so dangerous. That, and and abominable like, bounces. The gore well. in that field is actually pretty rough with those. Standing in range of cannon fire, knowingly, like for setting your troops up and not having cover. Yeah, yeah, it's suicide. What are you doing? Well, wait, uh, <laughs> yeah, I agree with pretty... you, though they do like use that. this as a bait, right? Isn't that the point? Yeah, because they're even showing yeah. this to try and make Let's it look like things. Give the guys who were there are... the torches. God damn, they had modern petrochemicals soaked. Uh... No, well, things but, just explode. To be fair, the idea I think rags is that they want the enemy to think this is all getting fucked up, and it creates like a smoke screen. Like the the, the coming in with the horses and torches. If they knew and could clearly see it, it might give Smoke. away that they're trying to set up something here. I think the the smoke is also to disguise what's going on on what the I'm other saying. side of the hill once their troops get committed. It does that, it creates chaos, it makes this guy think they're definitely winning. Look, they're all running away, haha, <laughs> pussies. Potentially lose. Uh, they obviously have more forces behind the hill, but potentially losing all those guys in front of the hill to the cannon fire, because those cannons could have wiped out so many more. It's just... Yeah, I think that's fair. That's a bit of a big old risky disky. Risky disky on the bisky. I mean, I will say, some... they do end up losing pretty hard, as you remember, Shan. They do, they do. A little risky on that Dixie. What? <gasps> Harfits! <laughs> They're gonna eat us! <laughs> <laughs> I can smell them from here. Guys, these banners are making it really difficult to be stealthy. I we literally tied that. colorful banners <laughs> to our back. This is like a negative 20 in stealth. Yeah. We co couldn't we have at least used green banners? Like, come on. I guess. Why, why are you waiting for them to deploy? Like, Surely you should be hitting them now while they're disorganized. Oh, they're about to charge at them. This is all very strange on behalf of the their side too, the bad guy side. Yep, that'll do that. Yep, that goes back yeah. there. Yep. Oh, now they have bolt actions as well. They're not. They did before. Ones. They just weren't yeah. using them like it. Oh and really? What? This may be a part of a normal strategy, or whatever. But it's like what we were just doing was working real well, well guys. We could just keep doing it. Yeah, do that. it again. There's like eight more rows of guns. <laughs> <laughs> it just explodes like a nuclear bomb. When it <laughs> it's a very intense arrow. Wow, good shot. I don't so even think of, you can so, see that. Yeah, none of them noticed that on the way in. Yeah, Man, there's I a don't... weird set of oiled up balls of stuff here. I don't know. They would have had to walk over them completely. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. I don't know. This is this fight is strange. Cause they look at this. The whole army's here, and they're just like, is it going well? I don't know. I guess oh, we could go the over samurai? there. It's like, no. It doesn't right? look like it's going great, does it? Jesus. <laughs> samurai are on fire, right? All, all they'd have to do, the uh, soldiers here, is just retreat a little bit up to that hill right there. And then start shooting bring again. Bring the cannons up top. Exactly. And they'd be, the, yeah, the right. samurai would be screwed. Even all these guys' oh, rifle arrows. shots oh, volleys no, into uh... the samurai right now. I'm going to fucking annihilate them. What happened to the warriors at Palmopoli? Dead is the last man. People might say they can't retreat because of the wall of fire. There were still heaps of soldiers behind them that could easily get on that hill. It's so it's weird this movie references 300 and it wasn't even out yet. <laughs> Fucking weirdos. Crazy. How, how did they know about it? I don't it? know. Oh damn, they remembered to shoot again. Gerard Butler wasn't oh, even God, like an actor Oh they're actually hitting point. us this time. What? Now, in this context, the armor would do nothing. <laughs> it's like... Yep. So, so did, did we run out of arrows? What's... Yeah, uh, well, and did they run out of bullets? Why aren't they just kneeling and switching and kneeling and switching? You, it's like, come on, guys. Yeah, if I had a gun, I wouldn't be in a rush to, like... No, I wouldn't either. <laughs> like, you know what? You guys go ahead. I'll keep shooting. I'd be like, guys, I'm out of bullets. I'm going to go get more. <laughs> more bullets. <laughs> oh. Dude, those guys are still shooting. Why did you stay further back? A babu. Bob, no. Bob, Growing no. Star. Bob. No, Bob. Yeah, get him, Bob. Oh, and he still gets a kill. Yeah. Nice. He did protect him after all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah, you should have shot him from a distance instead of running up to him. Oh! oh. 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 That's, that's bullshit right there. That's the <laughs> that's, that's bullshit, bullshit right there. That's some bullshit. Oh! He's so awkward if he killed like a guy who he trained previously or something. Ouch! <laughs> my kidney! How to do it? Stabbed me. And then I stabbed you. So I guess we're even. <laughs> <laughs> this is my guitar, look! He did that, like, he was waving his tiny little flag. flag. Who the saw that? It felt like yeah, they were already on the cool. way with the, how fast that was. They were just yeah. impatient and it lined up. And, yeah. You know, something, they, these things happen. Let's go, horns, he's scary. Man, he's super into it. Yeah. I can't wait to die! This is the thing, Woo! all that talk about how, like, yeah, I'd happily have us all die in battles. Like, you want to win, though, you know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to win, come on. Super... Ow, my horse! Oh, not my horse. He oh, lost it would've been helmet, cool sir. if he had killed someone with the helmet. <laughs> him with those horns. Oh, look at him go. This guy just loves killing things. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he goes killing. The time of his life. And look, with all the tactical confusion and suspect, it is still pretty cool. Like, it, you, they, they absolutely nail the epic kind of battle sequence. Whoa, oh, God. God. <laughs> there's, there's just some great kills going on here. Yeah. So. yeah. Battles so rarely devolve into a melee like this, though. Not in films. Oh my Not eye. in films. And you know, you know the film that set the trend for this type of battle scene. I think it was Braveheart. That oh. did it. it was, yeah. The way everyone's mixed in amongst each other like this, yeah, it's uh -huh. unlikely. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. I am in, I'm in so much pain. I mean, it's, imagine um, if they were to use some of the captured enemy weapons that are lying mm -hmm. everywhere. Yeah. Quite handy. <laughs> No, that would be That's dishonorable. Firearms now. <laughs> Uncivilized. But this looks like, what, 50-50 casualties? Like, this is not a win for them. No, and this apparently was the best they could pull off. They're still not using their fog jungle. We won't be able to stop them again. No shit. You do not have to die here. Oh, I don't? Sick. <laughs> All right, we'll see you, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> See you, dude. Tactical retreat would be smart. He who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. Because that's the thing, Katsumoto seems pretty resigned yes. to die, and it's like, do you want to win? There are other things we can do. So this is one of those moments in a video game where you're like a level 100, and your level 10 friend is like, let's have a fight, and you're like, um... Um, no. <laughs> no it, w it won't let me, the game won't let me, if I'm more than 10 levels higher. And then you higher, go into so... custom private games, and it lets you, and you're like, alright, buddy. Oh, my internet, and then you pull out your ethernet cable, you're like, oh, I lost <laughs> my internet, sorry, it's, it's weird that that happened. So th the film wants to portray that they display such honor and, and bravery in this suicide I guess thing that it inspires the emperor to see some virtue in the samurai code of honor. It's an odd thing to gamble. The ultimate on. sacrifice in the hopes that it'll make that little bit of difference. From a purely cinematic point of view, though, it is pretty <laughs> cool. Yes, it's very cool cinematic. I like the West is true. Oh, I mean, when I was super young, watching this fist time, I was I was kind of sad about it. I was like, lay yeah. annihilated them with a mini gun. They would have beaten you if you fucking fought him fair. <laughs> like, <laughs> fought him barely. It would have been funny if every cannon shot, minigun shot misses, and then they just slaughter all the bad guys. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, they're like, this I surprisingly win. Destiny. They pull it out, and they're like, oh, wow. <laughs> we got won. it, guys. Oh, nice. Well, uh, yeah. all right. I think that was going to work out, but there you go. Yeah, okay. Nice. <clears throat> oh, I just saw Tom Cruise's stunt double. And yeah, I saw that as well. <laughs> I guess he doesn't do his own stunts. Damn. Exposed. I thought he did do his own stunts. Well, not that one. Tom Cruise destroyed by EFAP movies. <laughs> oh. His entire reputation. <laughs> well, God damn it, can some of you hit? They're almost here. But to be honest with you, with Man, this amount of I'm firing, I'm surprised they don't just mow them all up. down. Here it comes. Oh, what a bruiser. That bruiser smart. Really? So, yep. He like threw that thing 30 meters! Yeah. <laughs> it's a what samurai a throwing, throwing sword technique. You get that at level 3, I think. It's really early yeah. on. Yeah. I don't know if they'd call them the new guns. They would probably call them by like their name. <clears throat> These are Maxim guns, aren't they? Yes. Jesus is struggling to get the thing yeah, in, like, oh god, oh jeez, oh god! Run! 
Dude, they have to throw that in. It's like, yeah, you're a desperate little shit. And here we have the triumph of industry over tradition. Yeah, Get fuck right. tradition. It's a loser. Yeah, yeah loser. <laughs> industry, baby! <laughs> Let's you, go! Hang on. You, you can't hold traditional values and use guns at the same time? No. 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 <laughs> there's, like, there's a much bigger conversation to be had. Yes, Sargon, what, what about the time? noble cowboy and his noble pistol? What about nobility? the noble peasant with his Maxim gun gunning down <laughs> samurai, eh? <laughs> Listen, this is this is the Maxim Gun people's property, and these guys are running in here doing shenanigans. It's definitely doing maximum damage. Oh, it's incredible! They missed all of the horses and hit only the dudes on top. That's really that's Sorry. really amazing. Is that is that like younger general guy? What is he thinking? Just like they are dying so bravely. I can get what you mean because uh, to be honest with you, if I were there, I would just be doing. like, "Wow, what a dumb move." Yeah, yeah, a fucking like, bunch of idiots. But I mean, these are ultimately like his own countrymen, so he's probably not like thrilled at the prospect of killing them all. And he's probably like but terrified I, the thing about of what it, he's thinking. Is that they're attacking them, though? You know, like it's not. Yeah, but there's something really. Yeah, this, this is just like. Well, we get to understand war, it because we've seen the war, film. Like, but what he's seeing. Like, what do you think would have happened if they actually had gotten to these people? They would have killed them. Maybe he's just thinking, this is too easy. It's like... A little bit, yeah. Well, I mean, what is one of the <laughs> oldest like... adages in human history? Don't bring a knife to a gunfight, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you have your honor again. Let me die with mine. Let me yeah, sure, just pretend I'm not hurt. Okay. <laughs> How many holes does he have in him? There's like a four or five? That's a rude question. Well, the ears, the mouth, the nostrils. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is this kind of cheap, Seppuku? Did you get I mean, someone to do it for you? Or? No, he's already mostly dead. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> it's not like he's not going to die anyway and uh, he's giving up his Are life they CGI for... tears on him? I think they CGI'd a tear on... <laughs> really? I thought they were real. Know. Were they not? I, I don't know. I think in that one, I think they were... It was legit CGI tear. Because it was like really prominent and wobbly. So that's the last line of the poem he was trying to write, I think. Oh, that's how no. modernity True. kills yeah. another ancient culture. <laughs> Does your culture deserve to survive if it can't? Rhyme their poems? Yeah, absolutely not. No, if it can't, <laughs> fine. Well, the, the question of modernity right now. Well, you know, like I said, aliens will crush us eventually, and they'll say the same. The I might do this now because everyone else is. I'd be like, yeah. oh, well, shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to... <laughs> I wouldn't be the to first it. to do it, but, you know, I can read a room. Yeah. <laughs> if you just stand in there, someone else looks at you like, you're not going to kneel, you're like, oh, no, uh, yeah, I'll do it. Good what? point, yeah, good point. Basically, go and GG, no re. You Look at all some. these native, proud Japanese people bowing to a white man. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. While the Englishman looks on in pride. Leaving? It's not over. I say, oh, boy, I'm yeah. off to the pub. <laughs> the signing of this treaty will usher in an era of unprecedented prosperity between our two great nations. We Stop are the wedding. to have successfully concluded yeah. this negotiation. Hey, I actually want to know the true history about this, if there was a chance of a treaty between America and the Japanese, um, and if it did fall through, what actually caused it? Because I doubt it was something like, you know, this it was Tom Cruise. Cuts in my day. It was Tom Cruise all along, right? But even if we take the context in the film, like, because... This is obviously dramatized and stuff, right? Uh, this treaty falling through with the US, could that potentially be one of the things that led to Japan siding with um, Germany in World War II? So <laughs> you're saying Tom Cruise is indirectly involved. So, exactly. It's Tom Cruise's fault. <laughs> that was really Cruise harsh, Shad. I don't think it was over. his fault. No, no, I'm, I'm starting to come around to Shad's point of view here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hate to think he's opened up all of his wounds by doing this. I think there was blood on his, uh, on his uh, trousers already when he came in. This is Katsumoto's sword. He would have wanted you to have it. Let the strength of the samurai be with you always. He hoped that you would remember the ancestors who held this sword. And what they died for. Hiko! You were with him at the end? Aye. 
This man fought against you. Oh, never trust well, the personally. fat bureaucrat, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> just, fucking don't do it. I've heard there are some fat guys that are okay. No, 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 fa no, no the fat one. bureaucrat, specifically. Like, look at this Is it more so that he's the bureaucrat that he's at that point? Yeah, but he's like the evil minister, the vizier, you know? Like, fuck off, buddy. I have dreamed of a unified Japan, strong and independent and modern. That will conquer China and become a world power because they feel they are superior to everyone else. That's what led to, that's the philosophy that led to World War II. I'm just saying, okay? We cannot forget who we are or where we come from. Anime, it's gonna happen. It'll ruin <laughs> everything. <laughs> what are you doing, Tom? It's so your fault! <laughs> we could have saved them. <laughs> I have concluded. That your treaty is not in the best interest of my people. Good job, Tom. Womp, you stuffed womp, it up. Womp. I just love it if that American left and like kicked Tom Cruise as he was going out the room. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I, say that. I hope someone bombs you one day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Jeez. Wow. Damn, dude, what? Okay, okay. Kill yourself. <laughs> Mister, this guy. Kill yourself. This is what it, this is what inspired the modern internet. Fucking kill yourself. <laughs> Fucking kill yourself. <laughs> Obviously. I don't, yeah, I don't really know about like the treaty much and if this guy's actually a bad guy or just kind of a jerk. Really? Katsumoto was an actual rebel fighting against, you know, the emperor and that he was burning villages. We saw that and things. The bureaucrat guy had every reason to see, you know, Katsumoto as a, a very dangerous, vile rebel that Shad, needed to we're be. We're not siding with the evil bureaucrat. Well, wait, what makes them evil? Is it what because they're bringing, are they bringing Look in... Look at his face! <laughs> wow, Saga! Wow! <laughs> We're judging him on his appearance and the, the spooky oh music God. that plays at the same time. The music that plays with Very him. true. Yeah. I think, I agree, the film does tell me how to feel. Yeah, exactly. So I don't have to do anything. <laughs> exactly. The days of the samurai had ended. Yay! I mean, no! And the age of the orc Sometimes. had begun. <laughs> <laughs> As for the American captain, some say that he died of his wounds. No, he's still making Mission Impossible movies, man. He returned to yeah. country. This is a very I common story. It's it's the dances laugh. with wolves. You see it in Avatar kind of thing, where starts off as enemies and he gets integrated into the culture, sees the value, and ends up fighting on the side of the the native <laughs> culture and stuff. He just goes back to the village. What do you mean you're the only one who survived again? <laughs> but the like... only one. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, why don't we make our armor out of that guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we can't fight anymore, but we can pretend. That's yeah. kind of fun. Yeah, this kind of sucks, right? It's like every one of the dads of this little cultural hotspot here is they're That's all why he's gone. going here. He knows what's going <laughs> on. Everyone's oh. going everyone's oh, no, to go to the end around. Whatever it's time to rip <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's gonna go to her. It's like, and you fucked the one who killed your other husband. <laughs> what the fuck? Tom Cruise is like, I am now the old father. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, ladies, need a husband. It's gonna be a busy few here. years. <laughs> Edward Zwick, who I have never heard of before. Yeah. You know, with me playing devil's advocate, and, and just because I, I, I want these actual historical context acknowledged a bit more. It's still a great film. Okay. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. I think so too. I, I, miss, I just miss movies like this. Yeah. It is a, -okay. a film that we could really enjoy. I just hope they're not making a prequel called The First Samurai. Be... Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. No, it'd be like The Last <laughs> Samurai Revengeance. But I am shocked that we haven't got remakes of films like this yet. Um, fucking some Zuma from California. This one's pretty recent. Like, uh, is it? 20 years ago almost. It's like 20 uh, years ago. Uh, They've remade stuff in... newer than 20 years ago, haven't they? They yeah. have, haven't they? Um, hmm. I'd also go as far as saying I'm. this film feels very cancelable. Like when they find it, they'll be really upset at it for all kinds of reasons. The Last Samurai starring Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. He's the Last Samurai. That movie was offensive. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. The white guy survived at the end? 
Oh my god. They, they bowed to the white man at the end? Yes. I still think that treaty with America would have, uh, you know, been really important, probably shifted the course of history in terms of what happens later and who Japan sides with. Siding with, so. with the fat wasn't, bureaucrat. Wasn't it really just... You know, who wasn't, wasn't in the room? A really. German. Yeah, hey. I, I, again, I, I probably should look into the history. I say if there was a treaty and how significant it was. And if that was just a trade agreement. But still, once you have a trade agreement with a country, that opens up the doors for more cooperation in the future as well. So yeah. Eventually, you end up siding with Hitler. Look at oh that. my exactly. god. Yeah. Let's go. Wait, hang on. No. on Tom, <laughs> you stuffed it all. <laughs> Rags is like, look, we should help the vizier. We, we should support this guy. No, he's evil. He's evil. Listen to the music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I exactly. never noticed it, but you're right. Yeah. Exactly. Poor guy. He, he, he seemed like he was completely loyal to the emperor the entire time, doing everything that he wanted, and he just wanted his treaty to go through, and then the emperor's like, I have a sword, I'm taking all your property and everything from you. And I'm like, what the hell? They needed yeah, to he worked really hard to get all those contracts for like personal yeah. greed or personal gain at the expense of like He's actual, doing it you know, bad stuff. Destroying Japanese culture. He's got his own Japanese culture. He wants to be the dominant one. Oh, hang on, hang yeah, on. It's you know, called American what? culture. Would, like heaps of Japanese culture would remain intact. It was a uh, like it wasn't the whole Japanese culture at stake, even the by accepting certain Japanese modern culture. things. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to go around chopping people's heads off. Also, yeah, does that mean you start? Yeah, does that mean you that. start killing people because it's a trade agreement you don't like? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, well, then that's... you're going to get killed that's... back, aren't you, Sargon? Mola, Mola, it was called gunship diplomacy. That's exactly what we used to do. So, yeah. Yeah. And oh. I'm highlighted that they'll kill you right back. That's what you should expect. What? That's not allowed. I don't allowed to kill them. Not and back. look, when you lose, you can't <laughs> go crying about how oh, well. Well, we were the better ones. <laughs> it depends whose side I'm on, doesn't it? <laughs> the last samurai. Woo last samurai, guys. Yay. Beautiful. The Maori. Thanks. Well, I really enjoyed it. Thank you, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> you've, you've Thomas. Done it. Thomas Cruisington. He is um, my favorite. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you for the next one. See Goodbye, you everybody. next Bye. time. Two for number... <laughs> Women belong in boxes. <laughs> yeah, boy. You could die. Then I'll die! She's all I've got! I am not letting this get a foothold in my city. I'm coming, Waifu!